Hey guys, Dennis here from Spec Studios. In uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how the Ferne works, which is a nice effect that you can add to your objects for. You can use it for outlines. You can use it for to fade the reflections uh, on the objects, and uh, I will be using it in some other examples as well. But I just want to show you how it works and how you can use it as a, for a simple texture. Uh, let's make a shader shader subject shader graph actually let me duplicate that one sorry uh, let's apply four let's go to graph shader graph four and let's double click shader graph four i'm going to delete absolutely everything here let's add a texture name it diffuse let's add a float which will be Right now, intensity. Let's first add the property for the texture. This is the diffuse. Let's add the texture sample. Apply that here. Um, let's add this ground cracket. Okay, let's uh, put that to the albedo. And uh, okay, now. Let's make a Vernel effect. And uh, in order to use this, you have to get the normal vector, which is the normal direction of the object, and uh, hook it to the normal. And uh, make another node, which is the view direction. The view direction is from which uh, side you're looking at the object. Apply that here. And you can see that <coughs> You get uh, a for now. Uh, here for the power, we can go to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, blah, blah, blah. We can make a power node, add that here, and put that to three, for example. And uh, for now, intensity actually is going to be. This one we will we'll add another node, another uh, property here, and we'll name it uh, for no effect. Okay, let's create that property. Let's hook it up here, and now when we put that to yeah, one, two. Okay, you can see one point one point five. You can see that working here and now what you can do is create a multiply node and uh, connect that to the B the for an effect and the texture to a so now you can see uh, if we set that to one you can see that at the middle is black and at the outside is brighter the problem is that we don't want that black at the middle okay so what we're going to do here is create another node which is the add node and we're going to add the texture to A and the effect of the fernel to B this way when we apply it here uh, we add the, where the black is we're getting uh, the normal texture and where the white part is we're getting a, a brighter texture now, the problem is uh, this is not too bright we can't see it very well on the model if I come here I add one. yeah it's very noticeable I'm going to make uh, something up I will create one multiply divide node multiplied node sorry here and uh, I will make a property which will be for no intensity let's hook that here now if we go to Ferno Intensity and set it to 5, even 10, you can see that the Ferno is pretty brighter. I'm going to hook that to the Multiply here. Save. And now if I come here and pump up the Ferno Intensity pretty high, actually I can multiply that to a power. So we don't have to go to these crazy values, but we do that later, but just for now, 
multiply uh, no need to power I can multiply to 10 and now I can multiply that here so now if we go to one actually no power put that here one five Let's put that here as well. So now for no intensity, 0 0.2, 0 0.5. Yeah, let me do it like this. So make a power node just to make it look better. Okay, and this is too much now. Now you can see that we have to go to three just to start seeing the effect okay so this is how the Fernet works it's it's making brighter the outsides of the object let me try with the house just to see if it's going to be working let me open the texture of the house yeah you can see how it's getting brighter here and how it's getting darker here so if I come like this and I turn it down. Yeah. So I can make it like uh, 2.5, the Ferno effect. And it will, you will have to go pretty on the angles only, you know. So it's getting brighter here. But if I look at the, at the direction, at the, at the front, it's not, it's getting darker. Uh, what else I can do is uh, I can remap it. I'm not sure if it is that that's going to give any good, but let's try. Let's remap from zero to one to negative five to five, for example, and uh, I can actually do one more float, which will be. Uh, for now we map, let's make a property and uh, hook that here, oops, yeah this is great, I love this, well it's beta so uh, let me close it, okay, uh, I need to create a vector too, Let's make a combined node, okay. This one is going to be here, and uh, we're going to type negate this one and this one, so and this one here. So now we can pop that here, and when we say one, yeah, we can type 15 to have pretty hard edges, you know. And with this value here, we can make like an outline. Okay. Uh, the the negate the negate is just because I need to have a positive and negative. So from zero to one, and I'm moving it from negative fifty to fifty. Okay. And now I need one more. Actually, where is the Fernet effect? Fernet intensity. Fernet effect. Are we actually going to doing something for this? Hmm? Oh yeah, we can use it actually for for the for now. Let me try with the uh, sphere just for a moment. Apply that here. Let me scale it a little bit. Uh, for now, remap. Yeah, for now, effect. Okay. Let me just save this. Map. Hmm.
okay for no effect like 0.5 hmm this is weird oh well yeah I haven't hooked it up Uh, for no effect is like this, for no rim up, so you can make like pretty hard edge, for example, 200. For no intensity, so it moves. For no... Yeah, but the weird thing is that. Yeah, unlock the house. So you can see now we're getting pretty bright the result here. And uh, dark, uh, pretty dark result here, like here in the bright result here. Now, the thing is that I don't actually want. To have that much negative value, so I am actually. Going to clamp that. From zero to one. So I don't get that negative value. Okay. So now you can see that we're getting some nice shadow effect on the side of the Yeah, and uh I want to pump up Only the white, which be like I'm clumping. Actually, can I? Can I actually normalize this? Oh, I'm getting pretty dark result now. If it's normalized so i don't want to normalize it but you get the idea right so you can use some nice effects where <coughs> you can make the back or not only the back but the sides of an object like one moment oh yeah i just had to be able to for no intensity now I'm going to remove it from here because it doesn't do any job here. So remove that power and this one. And uh, the if this is going to for no effect, yeah, for no effect. This and we want to clamp it between zero because we don't want to go below zero and uh, one hundred. Say if we can clamp it even between zero and three hundred. And now you can see that just okay. You can go even the positive way. So now you can like do like this. And then you can go like this and for no intensity. I don't know if for no intensity is actually at the moment. Yeah, I have to uh, bump it. Here, but actually, I didn't have to delete it. So let me uh, recreate it for no intensity. Hook it up here. And actually, let me hook it up here. Just to check.
Yeah, I'll delete the multiply node. So, yeah. um, and the remap, you can see the effect. Okay, uh, I'll try to make more often tutorials, but anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy playing with the shader graph. And I will show you some nice stuff in the next videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.